Poor Mario. As a lifelong gamer, Randy Solomon sat through more than his fair share of video game cinematics, so naturally, he decided to make some of his own. Please welcome Randy to the show. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. All right, tell me about the uh, video game director's cut. Uh, video game director's cut is basically a site I created where I take uh, old video game graphics and create movies out of them using a Macromedia Flash. Now, how long have you been doing this? Because you, you've been at this for a while, right? Yeah, since 2000, actually. Okay. It, back in 2000, there weren't a lot of people doing this. I mean, now you see a, a lot of little you know, video game kind of tributes and whatnot, mm -hmm. but, but you got into it pretty early? Yeah, I, uh, I was on Newgrounds.com, uh, and uh, I was checking out the movies there one time. And this guy named Clark Liveback was making these sprite movies, and he had a site at the time called Nintendo Classics, and I decided to take my shot at it, made a couple of them, got really popular. So did you go back, you it. went back and voted on his again and gave him all one, yeah, and we, then gave yourself five? No, or? I always gave him five. Oh, I was, okay. <laughs> we were like on the same level, so. Yeah, I, uh, so I started making my own movies, and uh, a site came about about it, and then uh, Newgrounds, uh, Tom Fulp created Newgrounds, decided to host me. I've been with them ever since. Very nice. And so, so that's been the connection with Newgrounds. They've been supporting you. and Yep, plugging them today. So. And, well, yeah, no, 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 it looks good. They, so they, they provide your wardrobe and your hosting. Yeah, yeah. There very you go. good, very Same good. Well, board. thank you, Tom, for, for helping them out. Now, what inspired you to do this type of animation? Uh, well, I've always had a love for the games, you know, ever since I was younger. It's a big, uh, you know, big uh, part of my childhood. Right. I was growing up with Mario and all that. So first thing I'm going to do when I start working with Flash is to just make these movies. Did you did you did you start making these to learn Flash, or were you already pretty proficient? Uh, with I played with a little bit of Flash. I I had a degree in graphic design. I graduated in 2000. I had uh, with, uh, so I was pretty proficient in Photoshop, and Illustrator, things like that. Okay. So, so when I started working with Flash, I I did some cartoons, but the video game ones are what I basically do now. Now, what's the technique? Do you did you go and download a bunch of ROMs and then use tools to extract yeah, I had the sprites, stuff, or how ROMs, emulators, things like that? And you right. Totally things. legal because you own that. I own them. I do own them all. Yeah, yes. yeah, kiddies, don't don't uh, don't download that unless unless you have the game right. systems. It's legal. Uh, yeah, so I would take screenshots and paste them into Photoshop, manipulate them, add them the way I want to look, and bring them in Flash. So your artwork's pretty much built for you. You're just animating with, yeah. with their sprites. Except for when I had to do a uh, modified sprite because you don't really have you know Mar Mario dying. You don't have his casket though I right. that myself things right. like that now now that that i mean you're working with mario you're working with sonic you're working with established game characters mm -hmm. i gotta believe that there's somebody knocking on your door from you know one of these yeah. big game companies hasn't anybody i've never heard anything believe it or not i thought i would have uh but i've never heard anything you just they... don't answer the door or they actually have no, i've never heard yet. anything that's if, great if anything i you know i hope they know that i appreciate the games i've loved them since i was younger and i uh you know i it i just I, i've always I, I always had a love for the game so i, I want to know i hope that they understand I'm turning the new generation of gamers on sure. these old games. Right, this the isn't out of games. spite, this is out of love and appreciation uh, exactly. for them. Yes. I got you, got you. Now, Rise of the Mushroom Kingdom, mm -hmm. this, this has sort of blown up. I, I mean, I'd seen your work before, but now mm -hmm. everybody's sharing it. Tell yeah. me about Rise of the Mushroom Kingdom and how that came about. Uh, well, there was this kid on um, Newgrounds, he, he created a little um, epic series. Uh, his name was Nova Crow, that was his username, mm -hmm. and it was called, just like titled simply like Mario Brothers. There's this big epic battle between Mushroom Kingdom and, uh, and, and Bowser, you know, the bad guy, the Koopas. And I decided to take it in my, my own direction, using 16-bit sprites. And, and, you uh, kicked it up a notch. Get a I tried to kick up a notch. I mean, I, I, I don't know if I did a better job, but I, you know, I, I was pretty happy with it. Right. And so, so what's, the, what's the concept with Rise of the Mushroom Kingdom? Uh, just the, the, with the whole, what it's all about. Yeah, yeah. Just Mar uh, Mario is killed, go, you know, being all happy, going through Mushroom Kingdom one day, he gets killed. And they have the whole funeral and everything. And... and and this got an emotional Luigi. response out of people, right? Yes, like they, they, they reacted they, to this. Yeah, I've actually had mothers call me and seeing that their their child's childhood hero died. Oh man! They were they tell me the kid was traumatized, and and their kids were like 27 <laughs> years older now. <laughs> Probably, yeah. I don't know. Okay, um, but uh, it, it's funny because it's a bunch of moving dots, and that I could do that. Oh, absolutely. Make kids cry over their childhood hero dying. It's, what, it's pretty. Well, you brought pretty cool. one of your, your latest works for us, so I think yeah. uh, if you care to set it up, we'd love to see it. Um, well, after Rise of Mushroom Kingdom, I was, I was getting sick of doing these epic, huge movies. It took me six months, right. so I decided to uh, get back to the quickies. So with help from my friend Bridget, uh, she helped me with ideas. I, uh, did, I came up with a, a new Sonic quickie. All right, Sonic the Hedgehog 1 was one of my favorite games when I was younger. So the original get back Sonic. The original Sonic. Old school. Not the anime Sonic of today. I can't okay. stand him. So. All right, well, let's <laughs> take a look at the, uh, your Sonic quickie.
Dr. Robotnik there. Yeah, I'm uh, doing, yeah. Bathroom humor is the best. Yeah. Well done. Thanks. Well done. Thanks for coming on the All show right. and sharing the animations Guys, with us. Nice we appreciate buddy. it. Hi, Mom. Uh, if you want more uh, work from Randy, just visit videogamedc.com. Now, let's go ahead and disturb Sarah and Brendan.